Hey again, everyone. I got some uh, new stuff here. Okay, I've uh, switched completely to Air Core, and uh, it's just going awesome. Uh, the only coil I had wound was this. Uh, I wanted to put the primer on the outside, so I've got a uh, it's counterclockwise coil and clockwise halves and uh, 50 nanos uh, across the one of the coil. Uh, I put caps on both coils, and it just wasn't uh, didn't really like it. So maybe Don was onto something. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, earlier I actually, uh, one of the lights I was using, uh, the friggin' thing got so hot it melted the end off of it, so, uh, I think it's getting, I don't think they usually do that under normal circumstance, <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, things are... Systems going about, I don't know, it's kind of fluctuating, but it's about half an amp or so at uh, 60 volts, and uh, I think that's given me some some added uh, added light and heat there uh, with the fluctuating uh, kind of. It's hard to get it steady, but anyway. I really like using this total air core design. Um, yeah. I think these diodes are giving me some trouble though, the ground fault going off. But uh, yeah, I switched back to the small uh, small point uh, spark gap there. And I don't know, it just seems like like I had to turn up the voltage so high on this one. So, uh, and it was making some heat, so I think these being kind of cheap knobs are not really the best, uh, the best thing, but, um, yeah, that's what's going on now, it's pretty sweet, and then, uh, I've got, uh, some other things planned, uh, this coil here would be like, uh, figure three on uh, that patent everyone's talking about with the reverse coil uh, it's uh, when I test those designs the variant of the double helix uh, patent 336961 uh, so you can see here the, the coil reverses and uh, goes back up to the halfway point over top uh, so that's one thing I was going to do some testing on, and also uh, this coil is uh, basically a test the by filer in a, uh, just in a helix wrap, so yeah, it's pretty cool, give that some testing as well, anyway, uh, great news to be able to have an air core and still get, uh, actually the light got even brighter when I, uh, when I switched to that. It's kind of tricky setting the spark gap, but, uh, yeah, about 60 volts and this thing just, it's ripping. So, all that. Uh, Talk to you guys later. So there's still some decent uh, current sparks for stepping it up. And uh, can totally adjust the taps on everything. It's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna lose this light though. That flashing is actually arcing that's uh, going on in between uh, across the filament there. So uh, 
<laughs> anyway. Just gonna try turning down the voltage a bit. So yeah. I'll talk to you guys later.